It's 9.30 in the morning and the UK's foreign secretary is visiting Moscow State University. Textbook diplomacy is called for, so she's not taking questions. Minister, do you think your visit's going to make a difference? By 11, she's crossed the capital to reach the foreign ministry house, where her counterpart, Sergei Lavrov, is waiting. It's below zero here and the reception she's about to receive could prove equally chilly. The foreign ministry warning that her tone needs to change if the meeting she's heading into now is to be productive. But after two hours of talks, Lavrov is frustrated, his language far from diplomatic, as he compares their meeting to a conversation between a dumb and a deaf person. I'm disappointed by the fact that we had a conversation of a deaf with a mute person as if we hear, we listen to, but we do not hear. So our detailed explanations fell on deaf ears. Not so, says Truss, refusing to be intimidated. We owe it to European security to do all we can to avert a war in Ukraine. Lavrov's response, an audible sigh. The atmosphere icy as he momentarily leaves her at the podium. Also on the move, nearly 1,500 miles from Moscow, the Prime Minister visiting the head of NATO to underline the unity of the West against a threat he believes to be growing. Our intelligence, I'm afraid to, 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 to say, remains grim. and We're seeing the, the massing of, uh, of huge numbers of uh, of uh, tactical battalion groups, uh, battalion tactical groups on the on the borders of of Ukraine, uh, 70 uh, or more. This is probably the most dangerous moment. After Belgium, a roundtable meeting in Poland, where the first of 350 British Marines are joining American troops. It's about expressing solidarity and a response to this. It's Belarus, bordering Poland where a huge 10-day exercise the Russian military is performing with its ally and neighbour is beginning. Moscow adamant, none of this is a prelude to invading Ukraine. But back in the Russian capital, it's difficult to see any sign of a breakthrough.